Welcome back to today's video. We'll be talking all about the pros and the cons of living in Zephyr Hills, Florida. If you're not super familiar with the area, Zephyr Hills is located in the greater Tampa Bay area, about 40 minutes northeast of the city of Tampa. It is part of Pasco County. In its early history, it was originally purchased and established as a retirement community for many veterans. Over the years, the area has seen a large influx of a lot of retirees and snowbirds coming to the area during the winter months looking for warmer weather. It's seen a lot of growth and expansion over the last several years and it's now become an even more popular destination for people and for home buyers looking for more affordable housing and now with so much new construction inventory being built in the area it's become a very popular choice for many home buyers. So let's get started with the pros. I love that it's a small town that still maintains that historic charm and it's a small city. For people who really don't like the hustle and bustle of a very large metropolitan area or a large city. It has a historic downtown area, which I love. I live in Wesley Chapel and Wesley Chapel doesn't actually have a downtown. And to me, it's really unique that Zephyr Hills uh, still maintains that historic establishment and that small town feel. You can see that history carried out through their architecture, through their city hall, through their um, small boutiques and local stores and restaurants all along Fifth Avenue and even in the surrounding regions. It has a really cute small town feel. The historic Fifth Avenue downtown is also known for their family friendly venues and events and historic um, museums and military background and so if you're into museums and if you're into history I think you would really enjoy Zephyr Hills. One of the biggest pros is the affordable housing options. Zephyr Hills has become a, an option and a top priority for many buyers who are looking to get more for their money. One of the really interesting things of Zephyr Hills as well is that while yes you can get more affordable housing I feel like it also gives you a greater variety of the type of housing that you can purchase. So if you're looking for some acreage and land and you want a really nicely developed home to do whatever you want on it or you want equestrian type properties or agricultural, agricultural type properties, you can find those in Zephyr Hills. Or if you want a new construction home and a new construction master plan community, they also offer that. And if you're into a mobile home community, active living, that sort of lifestyle, there's also that as well. So there's lots of options for different types of price points, but the overall um, pro here is that affordable housing can get you more for your money. For an average uh, priced single family cell home, you're probably in the mid 300s. So it's still quite affordable, affordable in comparison to Tampa or even Wesley Chapel. And when you're comparing new construction in Zephyr Hills to Wesley Chapel, it is significantly more affordable in Zephyr Hills. I feel like you get more for your money and um, the communities here also are really nice in that some of them are micro communities where they're a lot smaller, their HOA fees are a lot lower than the communities where you have 300 plus HOA fees a month plus CDD fees, so in that sense, not just in the affordability of sales price, but also in the communities uh, that are established, those HOA and CDD fees are significantly lower. Another great thing is that while it's still a small town, you are relatively close to large cities such as Tampa and Orlando. For many people, it's a pro that Zephyr Hills has a small town feel, but now with a lot of the growth coming in, uh, some of the original Zephyr Hills residents feel a little bit um, upset about the fact that it no longer is that really, really quiet small town that they were accustomed to as growth and expansion continues to move up towards the Zephyr Hills area, that city is seeing a lot more development. So while if you like that really, really, really small town feel, Zephyr Hills um, is moving away from that but if you're okay with a growing city but it's still small enough, I think Zephyr Hills would be a really good option for you. Also a great thing about Zephyr Hills is that there's lots of things to do recreationally, so there's a lot of outdoor activities such as skydiving, fishing, golf, tennis. Um, they have a world-class 
uh, tennis center and also lots of golf communities. They also have an airport, but if you're looking for an international airport, the Tampa International Airport is only about 35 to 45 minutes away, depending on exactly where you are in Zephyr Hills. Now for the cons. Because it is a small city in a small town, it has very limited public transportation options. While there are a lot of things to do, the nightlife and things to do in the evening hours are very limited. You'd have to go to a larger city for that. Now, one of the main cons is the traffic. Even if you're just going from one side of town to the other on a weekday in the afternoon, you're going to run into traffic and that's because of all the growth and expansion the area has seen. All of these master planned communities, unfortunately, I feel like do this all backwards and honestly, the county allows it, but they come in, do all these master planned communities and then they think about what they're gonna do in terms of traffic and transportation and helping alleviate the large influx of people. So honestly, the Zephyr Hills, Tamp uh, Wesley Chapel, and neighboring areas here in the Tampa Bay area have a really big problem with traffic. I mean, in the very height of the pandemic, there were over a thousand people a day moving to Florida. I don't know exactly what the statistic was for the Tampa Bay area, but I would imagine that Zephyr Hills has seen a large influx of people coming into their population. The census numbers are probably outdated because of so many people moving to our area here in the last three to four years. So traffic is a really, really big problem. Even just going from Zephyr Hills into Wesley Chapel, down State Road 54, it's a big pain with all of the construction and expansion. Hopefully once those roads are finally expanded and taken care of, this will alleviate the traffic problem. But honestly, I foresee this being a big issue several years down the road. Also along with that, because of all the master planned communities and large influx of population to the area, a lot of the schools in Zephyr Hills weren't prepared to handle the large influx of students. Again, these master planned communities come in, bring in a large population of people, but the cities and counties don't exactly have a plan in place that is efficient enough to deal with the large influx of students. In my own personal humble opinion, if you're bringing master planned communities, bringing a ton of new construction, bringing a ton of expansion and growth, you better have schools and transportation as your number one priority to make sure that you can actually accommodate for the large influx of, of people. So cities like Zephyr Hills, Wesley Chapel are going to go through a lot of growing pains in the coming years if the county and the cities don't get it together in terms of the growth and expansion. So with that large influx of students, you can expect larger class sizes in the already established schools. Personally, for me, a con is that if you want to go to the mall or a big box store such as Costco or Sam's Club, you actually have to take the drive to Wesley Chapel. Now, in all reality, it's really not that far. It's about a 20 to 30 minute drive, depending on where exactly you live in Wesley Chapel or Zephyr Hills. But um, I think that's just a little bit of an inconvenience, especially with the traffic in the area. Now, for some people that might not be that big of a deal because they don't really shop at these stores or prefer to shop online for a lot of their things. And for the last con, I've heard a lot of people that I've assisted with over the last several years in real estate. And I've heard from a lot of the local residents in Zephyr Hills that for them, one of the most appealing things about Zephyr Hills was that it was very rural, very quiet, um, just kind of out of the way from Tampa and from Wesley Chapel. You were, you were kind of in your own space um, and that's no longer the case. A lot of people that wanted that really slow lifestyle are frustrated by the fact that that small city charm that they once knew is now slowly disappearing with all of these new communities and developments coming into the area. So if you're somebody that loves that really, really small town feel, very rural, rural area, it once was that, but it's slowly moving away from that. Um, so I would say if that's something that doesn't really bother you and you would prefer a more growing developing area, this would probably be a, a pro instead of a con, but if you prefer that very, very quiet 
kind of chilled out lifestyle, Zephyr Hills is slowly moving away from that. If you're wondering what it would look like to purchase a home in Zephyr Hills, please reach out to me. All my contact information is on the screen as well as in the description of this video. I'd love to assist you with the purchase of your home, whether it's new construction or resale. That's all for today's video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give it a thumbs up because it really helps support my content. I'll catch you in next week's video.